This is the solution to problem 25 from chapter 29 in the ninth edition. In this problem, we're told we have a wire that comes in from a very long distance, touches a circle tangential to it, then it bends and curves along the circumference of that circle, and then goes away again off far away. We're told that there's a current through this wire, and what we're told is the magnetic field is zero at the center of this circle. And we're supposed to calculate what the angle of arc would be that would make that possible. So, first of all, before we do any math, well, so the right-hand rule for a long wire says that if we point our thumb of our right hand in the direction of the current flow, then our fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field. So that means at this end of the wire, if the current flow is going this way, and as we curl this way, then the magnetic field will be coming up in the center. So by the right-hand rule, is up at the center. And by up, I mean out of the board. Looking at this bottom one, again, if we put our thumb in the direction of the current flow and then curl our fingers, then our, cur our fingers give us the direction of magnetic field. So again, at this end of the wire, we get that the field is coming up again due to the bottom wire. So. Now, when we have an arc, then in this case, since the current comes this way and goes this way, then the current is flowing this way in an arc. Now, when we have an arc, what happens is, if we curl our fingers around the arc, then the magnetic field will go in the direction that our thumb points. So in this case, if the current is flowing this way, then the magnetic field due to the arc is straight into the board, or down, as I've defined it. So because of that, it's possible that the magnetic field can be zero at the center of the arc, at the center of the circle. So now we're going to see what we can do. So for the calculations, we have the field due to a semi-infinite wire is mu naught i over 4 pi r. And semi-infinite means it comes from some point off to a very long distance, effectively infinity in one direction, but it stops. If it were an infinitely long wire, it would mean it continued on that way for a very long distance. And so in that case, this would become a 2 on the bottom instead of a 4. Now remember, because these two, everything is symmetric, and these two are both up, then we're going to have two of these. Now, the magnetic field due to an arc is mu naught i times the angle of the arc over 4 pi r. So that's the field due to the arc. So if we're going to have these two in one direction and this in the opposite direction, and we want to get the field to 0, they have to cancel. So therefore, mu naught i over 4 pi r times 2 equals mu naught i theta over 4 pi r 
most everything cancels, so we're left with theta equals 2 radians. All right. Now, just to check, is that reasonable? Well, pi radians would be half the circle, so 2 radians is going to be something just less than half the circle like this. So, therefore, theta equals 2 radians.